didn't move here for that. A Summerlin woman says her once peaceful neighborhood is being terrorized by teenagers causing chaos on dirt bikes. And it's a problem that Metro says is getting out of hand. 13 Action News reporter Tom George has the video you'll see only on 13 Action News. Well, these streets are pretty quiet right now, but they go up right against residential neighborhoods. And neighbors say recently they've been terrorized by teenagers on motorcycles and dirt bikes. It's 3.30 in the morning and as neighbors try and sleep, <laughs> teenagers peeling out. You can see a group of them on this road near Alta and Desert Foothills next to a school. The screams enough to wake up one neighbor on a summer night. She followed the loud noise to this road behind her house where she says more than a dozen teens weren't happy to see her. We know where you live. She says one of them even kicked her car. Wait, wait, Whatever. That's okay, Metro's been called, punk. She didn't want to show her face because they've threatened her. Let them do what they want or else. She says enough is enough of the terror next to her own home. You know, I worked hard my entire life to, to have a nice home, and I get a nice home, and now I have to deal with, with these um, teenagers. And there they are. She said she was shocked to see kids riding around without helmets. Dirt bikes are illegal on city streets, and for good reason. Just last month, a 16-year-old was killed near Hualapai in Alta after he was speeding and crashed his dirt bike into a car. Somebody was bound to get hurt. And I don't know if that was related, but it's just, I just want to cry right now because it's, we care about those kids too. She's even gone as far as calling her congressman's office because nothing was done. They called Metro and the problem stopped for a little while, but picked up again a month ago. As the loud wake up calls continue. You're waking people up. You're doing illegal stuff. Oh. Now the latest that that neighbor heard is that Metro did reach out to some of the parents of the people involved in that video, but she says the situation here still hasn't changed. In Summerlin, Tom George, 13 Action News.